During the grand opening of Tesla Giga Texas, something very unique happened. Cybertruck demonstrated its rear wheel steering feature while it was moving around Giga Texas. A video of the vehicle shot by Cybertruck Owners Club group member uh, who tweets as Sandy B. De Gala, I will have the link in the description of this video, was shared online and while it was very brief, one could easily see the Cybertruck's rear wheel moving. The slow speed of the vehicle while it was using its rear wheel steering feature hints at some advantages the function could give uh, when parking or maneuvering in tight spaces. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage and help us to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers please. So the Cybertruck was definitely the start of Tesla Cybertruck Rodeo event held at Gigafactory Texas in Austin last week. It was a big event and 15,000 people attended the event. We had lots of good reports coming there. We saw where Tesla is going and we saw lots of good things happening and also after that we learned as I reported yesterday that Tesla will copy paste the Gigafactory Texas to other places and as there was a report yesterday Tesla may build 5 to 10 Gigafactories in the next two years. I honestly don't think Tesla will build 10 Gigafactories in the next two years but few uh, possibly uh, at least two gigafactories in the next two years or at least Tesla will announce the locations of new gigafactories by the end of this year. So it even got some time on stage. I mean the Cybertruck at the uh, uh, Cyber Rodeo uh, next to Elon Musk after Franz von Holzhausen drove the Cybertruck up there in a moment that reminded everyone of the Cybertruck's November 2019 launch. Do you remember that uh, epic launch? Now this time Tesla's design boss refrained from throwing any metal balls at the pickup windows though. Cyber Rodeo attendees got to see some of the electric trucks updated features including the doors that no longer feature any handles. I'm thinking why didn't the automotive industry come up with this feature long time ago so the doors have don't have to feature any uh, handles. Now the retractable rear, uh, rear glass of the Cybertruck that's what we saw. The side view cameras located in the plastic cladding around the front wheels as well as the charging port on one of the fenders. Visitors also got a chance to look at the interior of the Cybertruck. But there was nothing to um, write home about as the prototype didn't feature a production ready cabin. For example, the yoke sourced from the Model S and Model X did not feature any airbag and many of the parts were not in final production specs, writes Dan Mikalsko in uh, Inside EVs. But there was something special about the Cybertruck, something special that some of the people who kept a close eye on the Cybertruck got to witness at one point, the rear wheel steering feature. While this wasn't an extensive demonstration of the Cybertruck, a video from Cybertruck Owners Club, as I mentioned at the beginning of this report, clearly shows the Cybertruck prototype's rear wheels turn into opposite direction of the front wheels. This feature will obviously come in handy during low speed maneuvers, helping shorten the pickups turning radius and therefore make parking maneuvers easier. Now remember that I said that this feature will be handy at low speed maneuvers and I'm wondering if Tesla will disable this feature at high speed and only enable the feature automatically when the truck is driving at low speed. What are your thoughts on, on this friends? Do you think Tesla will do that or is there any safety measure that we need to take into consideration? Do you think it's safe that Cybertruck's rear wheels also turn at high speed or is this safe to do only at low speed? Now, rear wheel steering is a necessary feature on a vehicle with a longer wheelbase than the Ford F-150. 
we've seen the difference it makes in terms of maneuverability on a massive vehicle like the GMC Hammer EV. It has the crab walk in the future, right? Although it remains to be seen whether Tesla will go the extra mile and offer something similar to GMC Hammer EV's crab walk future on the Cybertruck. Elon Musk first announced the Cybertruck's rear wheel steering feature last year on Twitter. During the grand opening of Tesla's new factory in Austin, Texas, Elon Musk confirmed that production of the Cybertruck would begin there in 2023, likely at the beginning of the year. I'm thinking something tells me that Tesla may surprise us at the end of 2022 and have the electric pickup truck production starting at the beginning, at the end of 2022, because we know that Tesla uh, may want to do surprises. Elon Musk likes to do surprises, uh, promises, and maybe over delivering has happened lately. The electric pickup was originally supposed to enter production in late 2021 and was later postponed to late 2022. Here's hoping uh, we won't see another delay and Tesla will start making the Cybertruck in early 2023. Now, a lot depends on the economic environment. A lot depends on the political environment of the world. We are living in a very volatile world these days, friends, uh, and unsafe in many ways. So a lot of things will uh, be, needs to be taken into consideration when Cybertruck will come. Now, uh, in, in, if you remember in his post when Elon Musk announced the Cybertruck's uh, coming and uh, Cybertruck's rear wheel steering wheel, Musk stated that the function was added to ensure that the Cybertruck could accomplish tight turns and maneuver with high agility. Uh, this was a pretty practical move for Tesla, especially considering the Cybertruck size with a wheelbase that exceeds that of one uh, F-150, as I said. The Cybertruck is a large vehicle, so adding features like this that makes it more maneuverable would likely be appreciated by Cybertruck buyers. Do you agree with this? Um, so the Cybertruck's deliveries have been delayed, like I said, though Elon Musk seemed confident that Tesla could start handovers of the vehicle next year. Now, I'm thinking since Tesla started the production of the 4680 battery cells that I think Tesla is going to use in the Cybertruck, it is very likely now that this time there won't be any delays of Tesla's um, electric pickup truck. Do you agree with this? Do you agree that the 4680 battery cell production at Giga Texas has become a decisive factor on this? Or we should be still careful of see what's happening with the world by the end of this year. Now, the CEO of Tesla seems extremely excited about the old electric pickup truck, noting during the Cybertruck Rodeo, Cyber Rodeo, that the Cybertruck could be Tesla's magnum opus. If any, the truck would most definitely come with Tesla's best technology to date, such as its hardware 4.0 computer, which Elon Musk mentioned during the AI day. With hardware 4.0, the Cybertruck would definitely be as future-proof as possible. So maybe we need to wait until Tesla introduces the new hardware 4.0. What do you think? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and please help us to reach 100,000 subscribers. We're now 70,000 and still 30,000 to go. Have a blessed day. Peace to the world and to you, all of you guys. I'll see you soon in our next report.